I got one point. Yay. I have a story time for you guys. So I'm not sure if you guys noticed or not, but Joel and I have not really been together in the vlogs for the last week. We actually, I don't even know if we've been in the same frame in the last week. Maybe, I don't really remember. A week is a really long time to be fighting. But anyway, silent treatment for a week. But Bonnie, what could you or he have done to cause a week long silent treatment? Well, the details, as many of you know, don't usually matter. It doesn't even matter what the details are at this point. It's actually been longer than a week, and I'm, I would be lying if I didn't say that the time spent away from Joel has been beneficial for both of us. Today is the day that I am going to <laughs> Take Joel's pillow from Lincoln's bed. And I'm going to put it where it belongs. Scoot my pillow over to the side, even though I have thoroughly enjoyed sleeping in the center of the bed by myself. I am even going to wash our sheets so that we have a fresh start. Okay, you know what I'm saying? All right, so here is where it started. One of us disappointed the other. And then when the other person expressed that they were upset, that the other person didn't care that they disappointed them, that's when the fighting really started. Disappointment, adding on top of not feeling heard or cared about, both parties started throwing in things about old fights and then it was just chaos. Things were said from both parties that neither one of us meant. So really the fight ended up being less about the disappointment than the rude things that were said to each other out of anger. Now at this point, what was said was said and this is where the week-long silence begins. So here's what the rest of the week looks like. Joel and I do our work during the day. We just don't say anything to each other. He usually goes and does the house. I am home doing like home stuff. And then he comes home at night. We put the kids to bed. We don't say anything. He goes downstairs, does his own thing, watches TV. I stay upstairs do my own thing, and then when it's time for bed, he has been sleeping in with Lincoln's room, and Lincoln's been loving it. He thinks this has been the greatest week of his life. Now keep in mind that during this week, I'm looking a little ratchet, because, well, it's quarantine. Everyone's looking ratchet, and that's the uniform for quarantine, right? So one of the mornings, I got up and got in the shower, and I shaved my legs since the first day of winter. Yay me. And then I proceeded to put makeup on and I proceeded to put perfume on and Joel walked in and said, what are you doing? And I said, <laughs> I actually said, I have Insta stories to film so I have to put makeup on. <laughs> he was like, suspicious, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. So I've been ready, walking around all day looking cute, made some dinner, after dinner, I start putting the kids to bed and I send Joel a little text. Now, this is the first bit of communication that we've had. So I send him a text and I said, <laughs> I was so sneaky. So I sent him a text and I said, go get in the shower, brush your teeth, because he'd been working on the house all day. I said, brush your teeth, <laughs> floss, use mouthwash. <laughs> and I said, this is a one night stand, in case you didn't know what was going on. <laughs> because I'm still pissed at you. The second the text was sent, Joel closes his laptop, stands up, <laughs> stands up, walks to the shower. I hear the shower go on and I was just thinking to myself like, okay, okay, this is happening, this is happening. So I got the kids to bed. <laughs> so I got the kids to bed. So 
So the kids are asleep. I'm standing in the kitchen. Joel's ready. I hear him coming out of the shower. I feel so nervous. I was so nervous. Like I felt so awkward, so weird. Like I just didn't know how things were going to go down. And I <laughs> and I'm not the awkward one. I just laugh. Like I just start laughing by myself in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Joel walks around the corner and says, <laughs> He said, I got your text. <laughs> <laughs> so we were about as awkward as our wedding night. No lie. Took a second. And basically, it started with me saying, I am still really mad at you. And he said, I am still really mad at you. And I was like, okay, let's just do this. <laughs> and we enjoyed our time together. We enjoyed our time together. And it was really great. Like, it was so great to be with Joel, to connect with him, to talk with him. And then the night comes to an end. And I said, like, we were like half, like kind of teasing, kind of not at this point. And I was like, well, this is where you <laughs> go back downstairs. And because I'm not finished with the shows that I started without you. And he was like, oh, actually, I have a bunch of shows that I've been watching without you. And I want to finish them. And I was like, okay, hey, take your pillow and go. And so, <laughs> so. He leaves, goes back downstairs. I enjoy another peaceful night in my bed. And um, yeah, so then the next morning comes. The day goes on like normal. We didn't do a whole lot of talking. I did get a few smirks from Joel through the day, but I tried to play, tried to play it off, tried to play it cool. So that evening comes and well, it's getting closer to the evening and Joel says, do you have any Instagram stories to get ready for? So I kind of smiled, I was like, yeah, maybe. And so I hop in the shower and I get all the way ready again. And Joel, I noticed that the evening is coming to a close and Joel is now in the shower, brushing his teeth, getting mouthwash ready. And I thought, oh. All right, so uh, this is how this is gonna go down. But I told him when he got all the way ready, and, and I was all the way ready, and I said, that's not how one night stands work. I was like, I'm sorry, I'll see you next week. And he was just like, not really sure what to think, but you know, just had to keep him guessing. So we ended up spending the entire evening together, which was super fun super great um, we laughed and we joked and then <laughs> believe it or not Joel actually went his separate way after so he still went downstairs I still spent the night by myself up here in my room Joel enjoyed his evening separately in um, the basement <laughs> and then that leads us to this morning this morning we sat down and really talked out all the things that we needed to talk about and we both decided that a little social distancing never hurt anyone <laughs> and that in fact the space between us was very much needed not on just our fighting basis but just like in general just in our marriage just in life we have been crammed in the house together i am i am positive that so many people can relate to this joel and i have been married <laughs> like 12 13 13 years coming on 13 years and we've never had like i've never experienced this before and it was kind of fun a little bit if I'm being honest we're both good now we're both very happy now so my plan for this evening is have a good dinner with the kids spend time with them today and then when Joel gets home from working on the house I think we'll order in and probably sit on the bed order in and watch movies together we're ending on a good note <laughs> I tried being very discreet, very PG-13, just in case. So 
Hopefully that was okay for you guys. I will put something in the description for you guys. There is a link. Anyone that is a newlywed, this is what we give them as a gift because it is hands down the best that we've ever tried. So put that little ditty in the description for you guys. And if you enjoyed this story time, please give this video a thumbs up. I will put in the description um, my other story time videos. I've done a handful of story times over the years. So if you're interested in more story times, I've got it in the description below. Bye guys. Thank you.